Why Japanese people are so thin, according to science. When it comes to health tips, who better to turn to than the country with the longest life expectancy and one of the lowest obesity rates on the planet? While the rest of the world is seeing anywhere from 15 to over 30% of its population severely overweight, Japan has managed to keep that number at just 3.6%. If you're ready to find out how the Japanese managed to stay so effortlessly thin, keep on watching. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join the bright side of life. Counting down from number 10. Diet The secret to Japan's success begins with their diet, which is pretty carb-heavy and low in saturated fats. Their main dishes of choice include vegetables, grains, fish, and meat. Dairy products and fruits are consumed in moderation. They tend to stay away from foods with excessive amounts of salt and sugar, like burgers and soda. Many Japanese people follow dietary guidelines set by the government that place the focus on eating fresh foods and cooking at home. This actually gives the Japanese a genuine desire to eat real, healthy foods versus processed stuff like pizza, hot dogs, and frozen ready meals. Number 9. No snacking Yep, the country with the most vending machines per capita doesn't actually snack all that much. In Japan, they usually stick to three wholesome meals a day that don't leave them hungry or dealing with sudden cravings. Those who do snack keep it in small quantities and with a lot of moderation. Number 8. Fast food Just like the rest of the world, a lot of Japanese people have a hectic schedule that doesn't leave a lot of time or opportunity to prepare a home-cooked meal. In that case, they can turn to their version of fast food, which is usually a lot healthier and resembles home-style cooking. Of course, they do have American fast food chains like McDonald's, Burger King, and Pizza Hut. But even with these options readily available, many still prefer a traditional meal at home as they've been raised to keep nutrition in mind. Kids in Japan are given nutrition classes in elementary school, which allows them to grow up as adults who make smarter food choices, since they're well aware of the detrimental effects fast food has on the body. That's why they tend to stay away from the super greasy stuff. Number 7. Eating on time Most Japanese people have very regulated meal times. They eat three filling meals a day, with breakfast usually happening between 8 and 9 a.m., lunch from 12 to 1 p.m., and dinner between 6 and 8 p.m. This routine drives the Japanese to prepare meals in advance and helps them make better food choices given that they don't have to figure out what to eat on the spot. If you don't have a steady meal schedule or tend to eat whenever, chances are you'll make poorer food choices. You might find yourself hungry come mealtime with no food prepared, and you'll naturally head to a fast food joint to satisfy that hunger. Number 6. Exercise for kids it's a lot more common for Japanese children to walk or cycle to school. Of course, other countries have a lot of reasons why it might not be efficient or safe for kids to hoof it to class. The distance from home to school might be too far, the city may not have safe zone for pedestrians to use, or there might be a concern over crime. Since Japan has one of the lowest crime rates in the world, it's safe to walk to most places. This means that Japanese children grow up in a culture where walking and exercise is natural to them, and as adults, they can instill this in their own kids. Number 5. Portion Sizes As in, supersize me, not. Portion sizes have been on a steep rise in the last 20 years throughout the world. For example, countries like Australia, Canada, Germany, the US, and the UK have much larger fast food portions than Japan. Plus, Japan has a culture of small portions in both fast food and home cooking. There, food isn't served on one big plate, but on several small ones. Come mealtime, the typical dinner table for a Japanese family 
might be filled with an assortment of dishes, all packing a variety of nutrition. Even if they eat a lot of white rice, which you might know is high in carbohydrates, they eat it in small portions, so they end up having fully balanced meals. Number 4. A great public transportation system If you live in a big city, you might be lucky enough to enjoy a good system of public transportation like the Japanese have. Unfortunately, a lot of people who live in towns where the locations are more spread out are forced to travel by car. But since many regions in Japan are quite dense, a lot of Japanese people don't own cars. Their train system is extensive, and other types of public transit are also readily available. Separate bicycle lanes and plenty of safe areas for pedestrians are common sights in Japan. This allows the Japanese to naturally burn calories as they commute to and from work or school every day. They don't need to hit the gym, because their simple daily routine does a good job at keeping those excess pounds away. Number 3. Tea time. No, it's not golf. Tea, especially the green variety, is the number one beverage in Japan. Green tea has been praised for having a ton of major health benefits, like increasing metabolism, burning fat, fighting anxiety, and reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease, to name a few. Many Japanese people drink green tea at least once a day, while others drink it several times in the morning as an afternoon treat and with any meals. A lot of restaurants offer diners green tea for free at the beginning of the meal or afterwards. Consuming so much tea means that their bodies get filled up with water, which keeps overeating at bay. Depending on how it's prepared, green tea can have zero calories. Compare that to a glass of lemonade at an average of 120 calories or a can of soda at about 150 calories. And you can see how common Western treats and beverages lead to obesity and weight problems. Number 2. Dinnerware the practice of using chopsticks also helps in weight management, since they make you eat more slowly and in smaller bites. This slow process of eating helps people catch when they're feeling full and avoid eating too much. The fact that food is served on a bunch of plates also slows down the process. When you think about it, if you have one plate with a burger and fries in front of you, you'll be able to eat it much faster than if you have several different containers filled with a variety of options like rice, soup, vegetables, and fish. This way, Japanese people are able to pace themselves and be more mindful about what's entering their body. Number 1. Food as an experience During mealtime, do you sort of zone out, scroll through social media, watch TV, or wolf down your food as you're on your way to work or school? In most cases, this distracted eating only results in overeating, since you don't really see or think about how much food you're taking in. The number one way that the Japanese stay thin has to do with removing distractions and being mindful about the process of food consumption. Eating in Japan is treated with respect. People usually sit down at a dining table and focus on savoring each bite. This allows them to notice when their stomachs are full and realize how clean eating actually makes their bodies feel better. Treat food as an experience, and you'll be more careful or even grateful for what you're putting in your body. So, tell us, Brightsiders, what's your biggest takeaway from these Japanese tips? Let us know in the comments below! Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side!